Good day everyone! Today our topic is about an application and how to find the area of a plane region using our knowledge on the definite integral. So keep on watching. So here we're going to compute the area of a plane region using the definite integral. So we start with the first example. Compute the value of each of the following definite integrals by interpreting as the measure of the area of the plane region. So, suppose we are given a function, let's say f of x is equal to x. This is a linear function, right? And then the problem is, find the definite integral of x dx evaluated from 0 to 3. So, how can we interpret this one? We interpret this as the area under the line y is equal to x or f of x is equal to x and bounded by x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. So what's the region that is being formed by this interval 0 to 3 and the line f of x is equal to x? So this one, this is the region. So we are going to compute the area of this region. So how? Now in algebra, we know already the formula for finding the area of a triangle, right? So recall, the area of a uh, triangle is equal to base times height, right? So we will just apply that one first. Um, what's the base? What what? How many units do we have in the base of the triangle? So we have three units. Then the height also of the triangle is also three units. Therefore, applying the formula, we have A is equal to base times height over 2. So therefore, 3 times 3 over 2. So we have 3 times 3 is equal to 9 over 2. Therefore, the area of this um, triangle is 9 over 2. Now let's apply this definite integral if it's really 9 over 2. So first, um, solving the definite integral, we have to solve the antiderivative first. Okay, so the antiderivative is equal to x squared over 2, right? Then we are going to evaluate that one from 0 to 3. By the first fundamental theorem of calculus, we have this. So we simply substitute 3, with, which is the upper limit, to the variable x. So we have 3 squared over 2 minus 0 squared over 2. So the answer is 9 over 2, which coincides to the answer of this region using the, the formula that we usually use, which is equal to base times height over 2. Okay? So, this is how we use the definite integral using um, to find or to compute the area of this region. Okay, for the second example, compute the value of each of the following definite integrals by interpreting as a measure of the area of the plane region. And in this case, um, this is the region that we are referring to under this curve but we have it's also very important to know the function for this for this graph so what's the function the function is 2 minus the absolute value of x dx okay so uh, we are going to find the definite integral of this 2 minus the absolute value of x evaluated from negative 2 to 2. Okay, now in this case, it's easier because we are given the graph and also we are given the, the function. So the, um, the most challenging part in finding the area is that if we cannot identify 
the graph of the given function. But in this case, it's easy because we are already given the graph as well as the function. So this is the area, the area or the region, and we want to compute the area of this plane region. Now, to solve this definite integral, we have to recall first the definition of the absolute value because we already discussed that the absolute value is a piecewise defined function, right? So there is a definition of absolute value, okay? So here we have a function, let's say f of x is equal to 2 minus absolute value of x. And then, by definition, the absolute value of x is defined as x if x greater than or equal to 0. Then negative x if x less than 0, right? So in other words, we have two functions. We have two functions because if x greater than or equal to 0, the value of this absolute value is x. So therefore, we have 2 minus x if x greater than or equal to 0. Because we're given here the interval from negative 2 to 2. Okay. And if x less than 0, it should be negative x. So in other words, we have another function 2 minus minus x, which is equal to 2 plus x if x is less than 0. Okay. So we can rewrite this function into this one using the additivity property because the additivity property from negative 2 to 2 can be written as negative 2 to 0 then 0 to 2 okay using the additivity property and because also of the definition of absolute value that it's a piecewise um 0 to positive infinity and also negative infinity to zero. But again, we are given the boundaries from negative two to two only. So after um, defining the absolute value, we can now rewrite our original function. Now, um, this function here is equal to the definite integral of two plus x because this one becomes 2 plus x if x less than 0, right? Because 2 minus minus x becomes 2 plus x and if x less than 0, so the boundaries are negative 2 to 0. Plus um, the function, the, the domain, 0 to positive infinity supposed to be, but the boundary should be so we have 0 to 2, but the function is 2 minus x only if x greater than or equal to 0. So this becomes 2 minus x evaluate, uh, dx evaluated from 0 to 2. And again, it's uh, by the use of additivity property. Then um, simplify and use the um, Fundamental theorem of calculus to solve the definite integral. So we have um, what's the antiderivative of this or the integral? We have 2x plus x squared over 2 evaluated from negative 2 to 0 plus this one, the definite integral or the antiderivative of this is 2x minus x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 2. Then simplify. So using the fundamental theorem of calculus, the first fundamental uh, theorem of calculus, zero will be substituted here. But since um, zero, so two times zero is zero plus zero squared, this will be zero minus, so we have this one. This will be zero if we are going to substitute zero. So we will just subtract um, minus, Quantity 2, this 2 here, 
times the negative 2, this uh, lower limit, plus uh, negative 2 raised to 2 over 2. Okay? So, in this part here, we are going to substitute um, 2. So, 2 times 2 minus 2 squared over 2. Supposed to be there is minus, then substitute 0 to this expression. But if you are going to substitute 0 to this expression, this will be 0. So, minus 0. So, we only have this part here. So by simplifying the whole um, expression, we have 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Then this is 4 plus 4 over 2 is 2, right? So simplifying that one, we have what? Negative 4. Okay, negative 4 plus 2, this is negative 2. In this part here, negative 2. So, this is negative 2 and there is negative outside. So, we will just multiply. Then, plus 2 because this is 2 times 2 equals 4. Minus uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, there, this becomes 2 um, plus 2 because negative times negative 2 is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, in other words, the area uh, under the plane region, okay, if we're going to go back, the area of this region is equal to 4 using the uh, definite integral and also using the additivity property. Okay, so um, that's it. Thank you so much for. Uh, watching and also for listening. Hope you learn from this video and don't forget to uh, share the learning that you got from this video. Thank you once again and God bless.